Let us give the Lord a hand praise, everyone. Clap your hands and bless the Lord. All glory, all honor, all praise is due to our God, to our presiding bishop, our first and second assistants, to our chairman of board of bishops, our supervisor, first lady, to the delegates of the 104th session of the Church of God in Christ Convocation. Peace be unto the saints. We have come to give God glory, to give God honor, and to give God praise. For indeed, he is worthy of all glory, of all honor, and of all praise. Just because we are here in the sanctuary tonight, and there are many that look ever so well, you don't have to look like what you've been through. The Lord has been good to every last one of us. I thank God for being here, and after being here, find me saved and sanctified, filled and baptized with the Holy Ghost. I thank God for his goodness. I thank him that he has been better to me than I've been to myself. I tell you that even coming to this convocation, a few months ago, I just did not know whether or not I would even be here at the convocation or be here, period gotten some bad news I won't go into that right now and when I had received the bad news it just shook me in the August month of August my arm began to just get heavy I started coughing I felt tingling going all up my arm and short of breath and I knew what was going on in fact without even going through my whole testimony right now I just need you to know that even coming to St. Louis on my way here I came from the airport to the uh, gate in a wheelchair since that time I've had an infibulator and a pacemaker on the inside I've been on bed rest and I think they my doctor when I get home this week will release me to go back preaching I have not been preaching for several months they hid the phones from me because they didn't want me talking on the phones and taking care of things tell you that even when I got on the plane I said to the Lord I said Lord just help me to get to the convocation I just believe that there is nothing too hard for God and then while on the plane I you know I'm not used to this thing yet. I've got to adjust to it. Some people don't tell you what's wrong with them, but I'll tell you everything about me. You don't ever have to question. Just be ready that you're sure for the answer. And so they tell me if this thing goes off, it'll kick you, make you feel like a ton of bricks. They tell you it'll make you feel like a mule. I don't know nothing about a mule. And they told me all these things that are happening if you get too excited for a little while. But the other day when I was in church, I tell you, even when I began to stand up, you know how you all tell people? Y'all tell people to do stuff the whole service. Talk to your neighbor. I didn't come to church talk to my neighbor. Stand up, sit down, do this, turn around. Find three people, all the rest of that. Every time I would stand up, looks like my blood pressure would just drop and I would get dizzy. But because I was sitting right here, I didn't want to seem disrespectful. And you know, there's other folk that think you always have another agenda if you don't stand up and if you don't do this and you got to can't do the other. But the other day, the presiding bishop was saying, he wanted to dance and speak in tongues. Then the devil started talking to me while I was sitting in the pulpit. Said, you're the youngest general board member sitting up there. And all those old men are praising God. And here you can't praise God. I, I don't mean to call y'all old, but it is what it is. But then I made up my mind. 
See, I came up and I got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost on the Jesus, Jesus altar. I don't know if anybody know anything about that. I'm talking about where you didn't have to be cute, where you could get ugly for the Lord. Then I made up my mind that I will bless the Lord at all times and that his praise shall continually be in my mouth. So I told the devil, if this thing does go off, I'm in a hand clapping, foot stomping, tongue talking, Pentecostal church of God in Christ. Listen, you all sit down, it's rude to stand while somebody's talking. But I made up my mind. See, the church I grew up in, if you shout and you fell on the floor, all you do is just start rolling on the ground. So I made up my mind that when I think about the goodness of Jesus and what he's done for me, I'm going to praise him. If I fall on the floor, I'll roll. But I'm going to praise him. Is it anybody here tonight? That does not matter who's around them, but we'll just give God some praise. Please sit down. I'm going to call on the rest of the program. But see, some of y'all can dance. He shall ba ba ha. And I made up my mind. I said, I'm going to get one in if it's not but for 10 seconds. I don't know if it's anybody here today, but knows that you've got a right to praise God. And if just for a few seconds, right now and right here, you'll give God some praise. get ugly for the law. I know you may have on your fancy clothes, but you ought to just look back where the Lord had brought you from and realize if it had not been for the Lord, then now give God some praise. My, 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 my. Mm. I feel like taking another 10 seconds. I praise God today. Let me move on. You all sit down. All saints will say, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. Can we just take 10 seconds and open testimony service and just testify he brought me from a long ways. We are privileged tonight. Please sit down. We're going to fool around and have church up in here. Now, Yeah. Look, y'all sit down. Please sit down, y'all. I think when folk go to the bar, they ought to drink. When they go to the bowling alley, they ought to bowl. And when the saints come to church, you don't have to. I'm moving on. Please sit down. You don't have to wait for a famous chord, a certain song. 
But just think about his goodness. When your back was against the wall and there was no way. Anybody know he's a way maker? I really am going to move on, but I was preaching at a convocation one time or a service and there was an old sanctified mother and she just did, she, shot, she said, glory, 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 and then she just dipped. First time I tried to ignore it. Mm hmm. And then she just hollered out, Glory, glory, glory. And then she just dipped. Sometimes danger seen and unseen. Some things God will do for you when you give Him the glory and when you give Him the praise. Anybody here just shout, Glory, glory, glory. Dip. And when you really have the Holy Ghost down out of your belly. We are calling for woo, glory. Our presiding bishop has some guests. We're getting ready to call on them. Daryl, yesterday you were doing all that shouting. I, you shouted right in front of me. We grew up together at the same church. Tag team preaching. Come here, Heinz. Shout for me. All right. Don't you start running in this church. You all want to take just another minute to praise him? Go ahead and praise him. Thank <laughs> you. 